Hi, good morning. I am here at the Goodwill in State College, Pennsylvania, and I just want to see if we can't find some diamonds in the rough. Come and join me. Okay, I'm actually in my garage right now. I just pulled in and I forgot to mention with my clumsy fingers, I unfortunately, that uh, that Peter Rabbit Child Stash by Wedgwood. Yeah, I knocked the cart and it broke. So very disappointed about that because that was such a cute piece and so appropriate for Easter coming up. But you gotta move on. Okay, going in the store. It's a nice shop here. Um, it's hit or miss, but we can find some good things. Let's go. Okay, we're coming in. It's a big store, and let's see what we can find. I am now going to go ahead and check out the clear glass and the mugs and see what I can find and see if there's any treasures here. So, I'm seeing something back here with some gold writing. Ah, Texas Longhorn, the Alamo. It's a souvenir piece. Um, it's in really nice shape. It's $1.99. I think we're going to go ahead and grab that. I think that's going to be great on the eBay store. Very good shape. Let's see if there's any more like it. It's a glass insulator. That's a nice heavy one. $2.99. has the name on it. What does that say? All right, Sean. I think I'll grab that insulator. It's not something I usually sell, um, but they have been purchased through me, and it's hard to pass them by when people are so interested in buying them right now. So I'll go ahead and put that in my cart for $2.99. It's okay. Some vases, um, mostly clear, and what's not clear is really from Teleflorists. Nothing grabbing me here. However, um, there is some milk glass, and it's a special piece of milk glass. I'm definitely going to pick it up because I think it's really pretty for decor. And um, like I am looking right here. It's a beautiful butt base, 99 cents. I mean, that's really charming. It's lovely for winter decor. It's easy, it's simple. We're gonna go ahead and take that. I'm gonna stop here real quick. This is a stunning needlepoint. Wow, look at that. It's a large piece. It's absolutely lovely. That's definitely going into my cart. Right at me, here's a little owl. It's a Gibson. A very cute picture. Um, it's not vintage, it cannot go into my booth, which means I sell it on eBay. And at $4.99, no, I don't think that's going to be enough for me there, but it's really cute. So on we go. Here's a pretty little owl. Looks like a hobbyist piece. Um, signed. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's just not vintage. I think it's just, it's not as well done as it could be. The color is kind of off putting, but it's cute. So he goes back on the shelf. So, following on, I have this beautiful visca. Um, I believe those flowers are transferred. I don't think that's hand painted and there is no signature but I have a mark in the back. Let's see. Hmm, signed. It's $4.99. I think I'll grab that one too. Scanning more closely. Um, some cute little tissue. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay. 
This looks like a vintage cream jar. Um, $2.99. I do love that, so I did read to that. And then I wanted to take a look at this little trinket. I'm gonna guess Avon. Nope, FTDA. Hmm. It's cute, I do well with trinkets, but I still try to remain vintage. But I am gonna go ahead and take this jar because I think this is really cute. That was a glass bake piece by Carrera Knives. Um, just not um, on the scale of like selling and reselling Pyrex. Here's another beautiful little dash. Let me take a look. Dishwasher safe, like my safe. So it's modern. Love the colors, but I'm gonna have to leave that there. All right, so having dug through a few things, I think this is really cute. I actually think it's really brilliant, and um, I love the spirit of it. I think it's well done. It does have a signature there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that for two ninety nine. Not bad. The second one I can is this gorgeous scene. You can see that. Also has a signature. So I think we're going to grab that for $7.99. Leave a nice uh, item to put in my booth. Here are these really pretty saucers. Unfortunately, there are no cups. Cups and saucers are really good for springtime. Um, they're used to decorate for weddings and bridal showers, and they're just so nice for spring. But a cup without a saucer, not going to do very well. So moving on. It is $14.99, but it is in my cart because I do very well on this beautiful work. So I love it. Wouldn't mind being left with it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Very pretty. Check out this garbage can here. We're made in the U.S. It's a great, pretty pattern on it. I love this little garbage can. It's definitely been used. But it's very pretty. Let's see how much that is. $1.99. I'm kind of really liking my garbage can. So I think I'm going to grab that. That would be a great booth piece. And in the card it goes. Okay, for now, so far I found two towels for Star Wars. I don't really know collectors for Star Wars, but these towels are in great shape. They have the original labels, and for $1.99 or $2.99, I think I'm gonna get those towels. And they may sell well on my Poshmark channel too, so let's see. Spotting these little enamel. Probably made in India. Or, yeah, these are old for sure. And I think they can be cleaned up. I really love that. I'm going to look at the second one as well. Oh, look at the green on that. These are beautiful. I'm trying to. India. These are beautiful, $3.99 each, but I am going to get them because I think um, these are very valuable. And I think they're they're not just vintage, I think they are antique, so I love that. Walking, walking on the top. I have picked up this face before, it is very modern, so I'm going to pass again. I'm going to get back to you when I find some Pottery bowl up here as well. I believe that is absolutely modern. I found this beautiful silk scarf, 100% silk. Beautiful, and I know how to clean them, and they'll go right in my Poshmark uh, closet. So love that. I'm gonna keep looking for more. I'm gonna take a few minutes and. My husband's 65th birthday is tomorrow, and since we moved up here from Florida to State College, he's now a huge Nittany Lions fan, and I'm going to go find and see if I can find some stuff for his birthday. All right, um, I 
think I'm gonna conclude my trip here. I will give you the dollar amount when I get back to the car. I'm still gonna do a little shopping to again to look for something for my husband, and then I'll get back to you. Thanks for joining me, and please feel free to make any suggestions, um, you know, to make this channel better, and uh, I'll see you next time. Good morning. We are here today at Apple Hill Antiques. I'm going to go in and see if I can find some great items to resell on eBay. Come join me. Okay, so where's some beautiful English and um, China from Japan? And I'm just, these are little Fenton's ruffles. And there's no price on that, but there's a price on the other one here for forty dollars. That's a good price for them. It's just not a good price for reselling. I love this little water pitcher up here. It's got a cork in it. Oh, it's like four. Let's see. Container. Hmm. I do love that. I have to think about what really selling on my eBay. And some really lovely items here. I'm going to start pulling the trigger in a few minutes, but I just want to get a good overview. It's a gorgeous quilt. Jewelry case in here. Very pretty. And uh, I'm going to start uh, pulling some things for my eBay. But right now, just give me a nice overview. This is gorgeous mid century modern. Russell Wright. Yeah, that's a gorgeous mid century uh, set. And they're expensive. $35 a piece, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Some gorgeous vintage clothes. This vendor has some of the most amazing vintage clothes. Look at these. Look at this little sweater. Oh, they're beautiful. She has such beautiful taste. And this little cabinet, there's porcelain shoes, porcelain little boots. These are very pretty. Let's see, she's got on them. $30, mm. 15 for some, $30 from others. Really pretty. Oh, mm, that's beautiful. And that's French for sure. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just so worn. It's so pretty, but of course it's worn. It's antique. Someone really put that to good use. It's lovely. It's made in China, so it has some that, but these are gorgeous. Just Murano vase. She's got uh, seventy-five dollars on that. But I keep looking on. Here's another little Scotty dog. I think it's Japan, and that's five dollars. So we'll grab that candlestick. 
are eight dollars. It's really lovely and it's in good shape. It's eight dollars, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Put it here for a second because there's something else I wanted to look at. There is that duck on the hand that I really like. It's twenty dollars. It's clear though, and that's that's problem at twenty dollars to sell the clear. People don't generally want the clear glass, and I think and I think they're actually splendid. But I keep wandering and some very vintage books, a beautiful tiny tea set. I love that dog. I do love dog figurines, so I'm gonna see what I can do and flip that over and see how much it costs. Are you oh, I actually took okay. down this brandy snifter. It's gorgeous, gorgeous green, and it is $16. I think I could do well with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and that uh, reverse painted uh, candle holder. Ready for Easter? <clears throat> Pretty little butter pads. Capitamonte are the English version. They're very beautiful. They're hard to ship. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Fortunately, a lone candlestick. It's got that pink glass and a hand painting. I love that. Wish I had the pair, but for six dollars, I think that's lovely. I think we'll go ahead and do that. I absolutely love this vendor. She has the most amazing taste. I just looking at these um, elite decor. These are pretty. Again, thinking about eBay, and I really want to stick with vintage and really stick with uh, things I know I can sell. There's a child set, I believe. Bunnykins are, yeah, they're Royal Dalton. They're lovely. And look at this lovely Snoopy tray. Adorable Snoopy and Woodstock Easter bowl. For the tray, it's $14.50 and the bowl, $7.50. Another Bunnykins. It's a bank. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love these two pictures up here. Mm. Let's see what they say. England. Yeah, they are a saddler of England. Um, 28 and 20. Mm. Not sure I'm going to do that either. Um, don't get discouraged if prices seem really high. There's always treasures to find um, that you can resell and for, for to keep if you love it. I love cranberry glass. I do have I do actually have a real um, affinity for affinity glass. This is, let's see, vintage cranberry glasses with etched grapes, $14. I'm guessing for the set. So that's something I'm definitely going to review set. And then there's some really pretty carnival. Lovely, lovely paperweights, hand painted glass. I just show you this amazing mid-century booth. Get that way up. It's gorgeous. Look at that hanging lamp. Okay, here's some beautiful delicate tea. 
teacups. Let's see if there's anything. I've admired this for a while. This is like a set of ashtrays. So there's four little ashtrays. And then they're and they're left in. And I think they're lovely. And I think for $15, I can do that. We're gonna go ahead and grab those. Those are so pretty. Some beautiful, beautiful furniture. And I'm kind of winding down my shopping trip here, but I just wanted to take another quick look, see if there's some. This is beautiful. Let's see. It's a very antique window catcher, I think. Window. That was beautiful. It's a little rough shape. Keep going. Some beautiful pink glass, and I'm still loving that cranberry, but I just don't see a lot of room for me to make a profit on my eBay store. So I'm gonna just keep looking. I did kind of fall in love with this chintz plate. It is, let's see, it's England summertime it's fifteen dollars now i would take i would pay that money for it to be in my own home but for resale i do love the chintz and i especially love it when it's from um england so it's beautiful back to my little buddy up here i like him he's a planter and he's five dollars so what am i hesitating about of course i'll take that look at these beautiful primitives i love this cat just think let's see it's 35 dollars it's really pretty it's really old about 35 dollars it's not for resale but it could look nice on my mantle love him And I love this cat up here. Sixteen dollars on the cat. It's pretty. I'm gonna have to pass on that. Keep looking at the at the uh, planter. It's so pretty. These beautiful vintage dolls. These vintage photographs on metal. These are amazing. This is someone's family. These are someone's family. Nice handsome family too. Very pretty. Look at this little trinket, seven dollars. Um, okay, let's do one more walk through of this area. Some pretty art glass there. Um, price just too high for resale, but um where's this lovely fenton basket weave it's a gorgeous lavender it's 14 dollars, and that's about what it's worth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and back to this paperweight that i really like but i don't know how clear that is to me and they're asking 18. I'm going to have to pass on that today. Oh God, do you remember these? These are so cute. And, um, this trinket box. It's from Germany or Austria. And I'm just really enamored by that and that's eight dollars i think i could do that on that so i'm gonna go ahead and take that too okay so we're gonna take a look at some of the treasures here that i can take uh, home and sell on my ebay i can buy and sell it's wonderful this is like a micro micro cross stitch they have 
Heavy point, seventy-five dollars on that. It's beautiful. I look at this every time I come in here. Here's a really amazing duck on a nest. It's um, twenty dollars. Um, maybe I consider that. Uh, it's a little high for on the resale value, but I would really like it. Um, some very cool. Booths here are some really great vendors. New additions. Some pretty jewelry. Oh, gorgeous decoys. Some very obviously very antique vintage here. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty creamer. It's from Germany. It's really pretty. What do they have on that? $8. Hmm. I like to do a walk around, get some idea of what there's available, and then I will do a fine tooth comb. And I actually start selecting items. Love this little bulldog here. What is that? A bulldog or a mastiff? Made in China, and there's no price on that. Might try to get the price for that. That's really cute. And here is a dog. Ceramic. No marks. He's seven dollars. I do like my animal figurines. I think they're amazing. It's a nice table of a lot of milk glass, some silver crest. Um, it's hard to resell milk glass. Um, so I'm going to pass on that. But here we go. Here I go with this lovely little dog's planter. It's China for sure. And that's five dollars. So that may be a go. I love that. Again, I'm looking for my eBay store and the kinds of things that sell there. Some really pretty pants. Very pretty. Here's an amazing set of Pyrex nesting bowls for three of them. Those are $85. And that's about right, but that's what Pyrex is selling for. Remarkable. Coming up on this case, which I really love. There's some beautiful Wade Whimsies. Oh. Some really pretty art glass. Some jewelry. And here, let me show you these gorgeous pieces. Look at this. This is good. This is Romanian art glass. And it's amazing. Pieces are so heavy. They would be hard for me to ship, but those are absolutely stunning. Still just doing a peek around. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous glass in here. I love this vase. Let's see. Hundred and twenty firm that is Denmark. Look at the gorgeous colors on that. Look at the little planter, isn't she lovely? Can of holder maybe. Let me see if I can see the tag on that. She's pretty, but Stick with, I know a little bit, and um, 
you may call it a wrap here and I will give you the totals when I'm done. Thanks for joining me on this lovely shopping trip. Oh look, look at this. That's beautiful. Alrighty. So I will um, get back together with you when I get the total and I'm leaving. But thanks for shopping with me today. So the dog statue is only $10. So I'm grabbing that. I'm going to keep looking. Look at this gorgeous green set. Here's a little art deco. Six. It's charming. Loving this green. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the vendors at Dapple Hill Antiques actually has written some books. Hello. That's a cover of one of their books. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty. Moving on, and a bag of mystery jewelry. I love these bags, they're fun to dig through. Looks like some nice things in there. Okay, let's just do a quick review of the Stangle Ashtray that I love. These are um, Lefton Ashtray set. This beautiful Noritaki-like napper, nappy. My two dogs, which I love. It's a big little candlestick. I think I'm so attracted to it because it's pink, and I love that. And this beautiful red-winged deer.